Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a geometry tutorial to share with you today. We are working through our Waldorf Geometry main lesson block and we're finding a lot of inspiration from this additional resource called Drawing Circle Images. This book goes from three-fold symmetry up to 12-fold symmetry and today I'm going to show you 11-fold symmetry. For this project, I am using my Fabriano Hot Press watercolor paper. This is 9 inches by 12 inches. The first thing I'm going to do is set my radius to 4.9 centimeters and we're going to be using a chart that's in the book so it's really important that we have our radius set exactly right. After I've drawn my first circle I'm going to reset my radius for 2.8 and you want to make sure again that you are really precise with this and I did have some trouble getting the correct distance between each of those spaces and I found that they didn't quite match up so I readjusted my radius, I erased them, and you want to make sure that you are really precise about this otherwise you're going to have a distorted image when you're done. So I'm going to do it again and just make sure that each of those spaces is correct. Next I'm going to take my larger compass and set it so that the new radius is between three of those marks. So we put it at one of those arcs, then we skipped one arc and then set it for the third arc. And now we're going to do all of our circles around each of those points. And you're going to quickly see some spectacular 11 fold symmetry. Now once we're done with this, we can stop right here and I'm going to erase that original circle. Now there is something else that you can do that's advised in the book, but I decided not to do that and that's to do some additional arcs on the outline parts of this design. But I actually really like the way that this looked just as it was. So I'm going to use my Distress inks. These are ink pads that we're going to be using as watercolors. I'm just going to squish them down onto my non-porous surface and add some shimmer from Heidi Swap. And then we're going to get started with watercoloring this design. Now you can use color pencils as my son has done during his geometry lessons. You can also opt to use watercolors and not color in the entire thing. I've done that with some of our previous designs and they've been really beautiful. But for this one, I'm going to get carried away and just keep watercoloring pretty much the entire design. So I've got my watercolors, which are Distress inks, and I'm using them as watercolors, but they will dry permanent. And I've just got a variety of shades from yellow to orange to pink, and I really, really love this combination of colors. I've also added some shimmer to my Distress inks, and when this dries, you're going to have a nice little shimmer effect to the watercolors, and I think that it's really beautiful. Now it's easy to distort the image if you stray outside the lines when you are watercoloring, so do try to stay inside the lines so that you can preserve the geometry of your final image. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit by adding a little bit more orange to those last segments and then we're done. If you'd like to see some of the other geometry tutorials in this series, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more tutorials as well as more information on the products that I used. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.